Oh, I don't have to think. I know. So Santa Marta or Mami Wata, depending on which path you go down. Um, if you ask someone who doesn't know what they're talking about, they will tell you that she originates from this French saint, Saint Martha. Now, as we've said before, the Christian God and all their saints and angels line up with every other pantheon that has ever existed. A predecessor to Saint Martha, the French version, the Christian version, is Miliusine, uh, from French folklore. You gotta remember that dragon and snake were intertwined. Either one could be considered a serpent. This is an earlier version of Saint Martha. So this figure may look like the Africanized version of the French Saint Martha, but no. You gotta remember that once the colonizers realized that letting African slaves practice their own religion might lead to an uprising, they forced them to convert to Christianity. And one of the first versions they forced was Catholicism. And in America, I think they did Protestantism or Methodist. They forced it on them. That's why I don't understand why any African American is a Christian. But that could just be my white point of view. Carrying on. So instead of dying, uh, slaves hid their gods within the Christian or Catholic iconography. So Mami Wata, which originates in Africa, becomes St. Martha the Dominator. She also appeared like this with a little Latino flair because they had to hide their shit inside of Catholicism as well or die. Unfortunately, the colonizers never left. And so the Christian iconography never left uh, because then, you know, these laws kicked in. So they were making an actual law against it. Kind of like how we outlawed uh, Native American religions. <clears throat> So, you may see her on altars in any of these forms because they never got a chance to separate back out. Now, the Latino version does synchronize up with more of the Christian St. Martha attributes. They got a little bit more clobbered up because there was a lot more mixing between Spaniards and Frenchmen and uh, Latino indigenous than they did with the black slaves. But this forcing uh, uh, of this Christianity onto these peoples and they went in and hid their religion within it is why you will see so much Catholic and Christian iconography in uh, Espiritismo, Santeria, Sanse with the 21 divisions, and Hoodoo. It even makes it all the way over to the Philippines. This is the Philippine style of ancestor veneration the the philippine version of hoodoo but this lady and any of these iconographies or these or these are not to be played with these are not the deities okay these are not deities these are primordial forces some are a separate class of spirits. And in Hoodoo and a couple of other uh, ATR practices, these are muertos, dead people. Nothing in these paths are the same as the one that the white folks is most common with. And this is why you cannot just waltz into them. They have mysteries. And that's why I told you that these practices are a lifestyle change on top of passing an initiation. Now, whether these paths, some of them are officially closed and some of them are unofficially closed. Officially closed means there's pretty much a, a framework of a universal initiation in order to get into these. Unofficially closed means that they're open but you have to be trained by someone on the download. Not the download, but their fa each family varies a little bit. And 
they put you through an initiation you're just not aware of it <laughs> and since we're on the subject the the yoruba uh gods and goddesses that are you know known as the oshun or whatever they were not originally pantheonized either the effect of colonization is so insidious that it had it it somehow made these non-deities get literally molded and stuck into a a pantheonic form and still to this day in africa the for you know like the the tribal stuff um these are still recognized as these huge each one it encompasses so much it's a primordial force so it's not like the deities where you got like the thunder god and the ocean god way more massive way more cosmic and way 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 older so if you want to know where this truly comes from you want to look up mommy wata if you want to find out about what these guys originally were then you want to look up the yoruba religion i won't be discussing the details origin and history of those subjects because number one um poc creators that are well versed on this app about those things are always trampled on by uh, white creators it, that's what tiktok is i learned about that but not nearly enough to be educating anyone on it and please remember learning about these things there's nothing closed about learning about these things because on the journey of learning about them you learn a hell of a lot more than you ever knew before about a lot of things <laughs> that pertain to the world around you. It's the practices that you have to be initiated in, okay?